Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can use SharePoint to build a frequently asked questions list, a frequently asked questions database, if you will. Uh, now, FAQ happens to be one of the most common you know, staples of SharePoint. Uh, and the reason is because uh, I'm sure your employees always have questions. You need to provide the answers. Uh, and there are a variety of ways to do it in SharePoint. My personal favorite is um, an example you see on the screen right now, where essentially you have this accordion style FAQ uh, and uh, it lists essentially all the questions. And then as users uh, expand the question, they see the answer, all right? Uh, again, there are a number of ways to do it, uh, but this is uh, my personal favorite just because I think it looks cool and it's also not that hard to set up. So that's exactly what I would like to do today is explain how to set something like this up. Uh, essentially, what uh, we, we have here is a custom list, a custom list web part uh, with uh, a custom columns. That's all it is. Uh, so let me walk you through the process. Of course, I already have uh, the list created on my site. We're going to create a brand new list to do that we need to navigate to site contents here we go uh here's the list i already have let's create a brand new one i uh, will call it uh something like that all right um just to differentiate between the names i already have let's create the list now by default of course uh it already has the title column we're actually going to take advantage of this title column because the title column will be the question column all right and then we're also going to create the answer column uh so uh to to uh modify the uh, uh the title um, uh, name uh we need to go to list settings all right and here we go click on the title column that's an out of the box column that is created uh, and we are going to uh, rename it to question column or whatever you want it to be. Uh, I suggest leaving this on. Essentially, a question is always required. You might not have an answer, but you know you definitely want a question. So um, I click, keep that checkbox on, uh, the, the uh, radio button on. Uh, and here we go. Let's click OK. Let's see what happened. So here we go. Uh, the question column we now have a question column now you can create additional columns here uh, but i always prefer to do it from the front end it's just a much a nicer you know, kind of user interface if you will so uh, we can create a, an answer column right now now for the answer column uh, you know questions are probably going to be nice and short for the answer column you can choose between the single line of text or multiple lines of text it really depends on uh, you know how long your answers will be um, let's keep it single line of text, right? Um, you know, I always prefer uh, to be short in my responses, but to the point. So let's keep a single line of text and that's, um, we are going to call it answer. Uh, all right, and click save. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, so we kind of did the uh, uh, hardest part, if you will. Now, uh, there are a couple of additional things we can do here. Uh, first of all, we can create additional metadata, right? Maybe you are utilizing this FAQ for, um, you know, number of uh, various questions and from various departments, different categories, you can create, uh, let's say, uh, a category column, uh, right? Just to differentiate between the types of uh, questions you have. Um, you know, for different uh, groups of questions, I guess. So let's just say, you know, these are our categories. Of course, uh, they could be anything you want. So yeah, questions related to HR, questions related to IT. All right. And of course, you can add additional metadata, but let's not go crazy here now. So let's go ahead and populate some of the questions now. Here we go. Click New. Uh, and how to change a password, all right? That's our first question. Here we go. And you can provide, uh, of course, the answer. Um, you know, you can uh, maybe embed a, a link somewhere or provide instructions right, um, uh, right in here. All right. And my category is uh, IT in this case. Here we go. So that's our question number one. Let's provide another uh, question and answer. Um, what is deadline for medical? Uh, insurance. All right, enrollment. All right, perfect. That's great. Um, perfect. All right, and uh, you can obviously 
provide the date or whatever the answer is. This is an HR one. Perfect. All right. And so on. I think you get the idea. I don't think we will uh, uh, we will uh, add any more questions. Now, you could leave it like this. Uh, one other thing I like to do is I like to um, have this uh, accordion style, right? Uh, essentially, what we need to do for that is we need to create a view where we group by questions. All right. We essentially create a view where we group by questions. Now, to do that, uh, again, we need to go behind the scenes to the list settings. Here we go. And we're going to create an additional view. All right. And we'll start from the kind of the view we already have. Perfect. Uh, grouped uh, by question. Yeah. All right. Here we go. That's the name of the view. Now, when we group by question, we do not want to display the question itself. Um, we just want to display the answer and category. So we'll leave this unchecked. And then uh, we do want to group by the question column. Here we go. Uh, so let's choose this option right here. And look at this. Here is our view. Uh, the grouped view has been created. Uh, and if we expand now, look at this. The answers appear right underneath the question. So it's nice and dynamic and uh, very uh, user friendly, in my opinion, to use. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to create a simple FAQ uh, for your SharePoint site, for your SharePoint internet. So hopefully you learned something new today. Now, uh, before we end this video, I also wanted to mention that I recently went live with uh, a SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, essentially, it's a place where you can uh, uh, enroll and uh, access uh, the various courses on SharePoint. Uh, as well as uh, other Office 365 applications. Uh, to access the Academy, you just need to go to academy.sharepointmaven.com. I will include the link in the description of the video. Uh, but let me show you what this uh, looks like. Essentially, once you navigate to the Academy itself, uh, you will be able to see the various courses that I have at the moment, and I will be adding additional uh, ones um, going forward. But uh, you can click on various categories of courses and enroll uh, in them uh, right from my uh, website. So just wanted to mention this, if that's of interest, a very affordable option uh, for those who uh, are trying to launch SharePoint and Office 365 on their own. Uh, with that being said, uh, thank you very much for your attention. Hopefully, you learned something new today. And uh, as always, we'll be happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.